All right, guys, I just wanted to do a quick uh, 2021 lawn care setup. I'll we'll just start with what I got here in the garage. Uh, by now, you all have seen the Toro Turbo Force 40 walk behind that I traded my building for. This is my new to me aerator. I've never done aerations. I hope to make some money with this. If not, I believe that. Uh, It'll sell pretty easily, so I could probably make more money off of it than what I've got in it. I paid like 50 bucks for it, so there's that new service I might could offer this year. I have a Fisher mower lift from Harbor Freight. My trailer is a P&T, I believe, 14 foot, 76 inches wide by 14 foot tandem axle. I have a FS-111R with the Darwin's grip, a KM-131R with the, this is just a grass cutter attachment they advertise it has, but I use it as a hedge trimmer, the extension and a pole saw. And while I'm here, I've got a FS-46 and a FS-55 spare weed eaters. Got a couple leaf rakes, a pitchfork, and a brush that I washed my mowers with. Got the M12 Milwaukee grease gun. I use the steel oil. I typically use the HP silver bottles, but I've got some of that uh, orange left over. A couple extra gear heads and uh, gear boxes and string heads for steels. I use Bowyer power tools. I got the gr angle grinder and uh, drill, and, uh, impact driver, spotlight, flashlight, reciprocating saw, a little bit of everything. Harbor Freight, Yukon tool chest, and cobalt mechanics tools. I have a steel MS-180C, a MS-111, a MS310, and I also have a Poland 2150 Woodsman 16 inch chainsaw. I have a 15 gallon sprayer on a cart that I made to pull behind my mowers, plus a handheld sprayer, three gallon and a two and a half gallon. Uh, the refrigerator, that's an important part of the setup, keeps the drinks cold before I head out. I uh, got that for free off of a uh, junk removal job last year. This, I'll probably end up selling as soon as I'm done working on it, is a John Deere 310. I think it's like an early 90s model mower. It's something I'm working on. I was going to keep for a backup and to use around the house, but I'll probably sell it as soon as I get done working on it. And the walk behind, of course, is here. And uh, my trailer is a mess. I'm not going to go through the toolbox. I've just got some bar and chain oil, some straps, and... Uh, Weed ear string, just various little odds and ends in the box. There's the hood for the John Deere. Ooh. I run just generic gas cans. I have a, that blower rack right there is gonna go on my red trailer eventually. But uh, I have John Deere M, uh, X540, a John Deere GT235. I don't know the brand of the trim racks, just some generic rack, but I like them. They're really good racks. I have a 2.2 gallon sure can and a sure cage. I have a BG50 steel handheld blower and a Byers multi-tool rack. Don't know the brand of the uh, spare tire holder, but I got my spare tire on the front of the trailer. Of course, the trailer came with one here, but I don't like it there, so I bought that so I can have my spare tire with me. A Byers cooler rack, an Igloo five-gallon cooler, a Byers gas can rack, and a generic gas can, a BR600, and a version 3 green touch blower rack plus on the other side there i've shown it before i have a rackham double barrel gate assist that fertilized spreader is junk so it ain't included in the setup i have some ramps in case i need them craftsman air compressor that's an old air compressor but still works Got an aluminum ladder. Got a uh, wheelbarrow 
generic wheelbarrow. The gray tiller I do use and make some money with. The red one's my dad's, it stays here. Green push mower we use around the house. Blue push mower is my mower that I use to make money with, but I'm gonna, if I don't have no use for it this year, I'm gonna sell it. Yellow push mower I use for my business as well if I need it, but uh, I'm gonna keep it. If, and if I don't use it, I just don't use it. These two tillers are for sale, just random junk I've shown before. My pressure washer, the, I built this. It's actually a vertical shaft engine stand, pressure washer stand. I put a piece of plate on with rivets to come out the motor. I bought the motor and the pump separate and various garden hoses and wand and whatnot. Not the best setup because the wand, I don't think is really rated for what the pressure of this pump puts out. So it's probably losing pressure that way, but it works. I'll make some money with it and I'll probably upgrade eventually if it seems like it's a viable business. Big extendable brush for house washing. I've never done it, but I got that just in case I do. I got a, I uh, can't remember what brand this thing is. It's one of them cheap spreaders that's got the edge guard. I can't remember what this thing's called. I've never used it, but I hope to use it with my aerator to do overseeding with. And I bought these suitcase weights for my mower, thinking I would need them on some of my very steep properties. Plus I put fluid in all the tires, and after I put the fluid in the tires, I didn't need suitcase weights. So instead of selling the suitcase weights, I'm gonna just put them on my aerator. They're about 42 pounds a piece. They got handles. They're a lot easier on your hands than cinder blocks are. So they'll have a use. But that's pretty much everything in here. Got a Chicago Electric uh, MIG welder, flux core. I can't weld, but it comes in handy, that's for sure. And then of course this two bay garage and here's the uh, trailer a little update on it I've got all the materials got all the cross members welded in I just got to get the uprights put on and go from there so it's been a slow process battling the uh, weather and work and just general whatnot but uh, here's my other trailer it's a 5 by 12 single axle I put brand new lights on it just a short time ago. Got same type of trimmer racks on it. The milk crate is actually just uh, zip tied to the trailer. I've run that thing for years like that, never had a problem. I put my blower in that, my handheld. A That's my original sure cage. I lost the other part to it. I've been meaning to try and make something that I can still use it. I ain't ever checked about buying the replacement part, but uh, this may get used quite a bit because what's going to be my new primary mower and the walk behind ought to fit on this pretty well. But I don't know, the other trailer's already set up, you know, with everything else. But uh, I guess I'll show you all now what I've been trying to hide from you. <laughs> A 2020... Z915E with the Kohler 25 horsepower carbureted engine. 54 inch cut. It has the Comfort Glide seat so it moves back and forth with you as you ride it. This mower only has six hours on it. The guy that bought it, or uh, well, the guy I bought it off of, is a very cool story. And he's a super nice guy. But uh, he told me he'd been doing. He told me he'd been a butcher for like 20 years. And four years ago, he started doing lawn care. And he runs primarily a the z400 and z500 kind of like the residential grade zero turns from deer and his grandson would do weeding for him and he'd mow well uh i had to go all the way down to strawberry plains tennessee 
to get that mower. That's about two and a half hours or two hours or so, 128 miles away from me. And he told me in four years, doing only 20 clients, that he was making there, he made like a hundred thousand dollars. But he's had to give up lawn care because last year, not long after he got that mower, he had a stroke, and a minor stroke. And then later on, he had another worse stroke. So he's just giving up the bigger mower. And then two, he was pulling it. Uh, his setup was just a four-cylinder Nissan. He said that big of a mower plus probably another mower on his trailer. He had a single a single axle 14 foot trailer was really taxing his uh, truck is what he said. But uh, I thought that was really cool. And that goes to show what I keep saying to everybody on here. It depends on your area so much as to what you can do in lawn care. I mean, my area is so poor, I guess you could say the, the market is so poor around here, it's ridiculous, but I make do as best I can. That's why I'm trying to go to an over, a whole other city in a different state that's not very far away. But uh, hopefully this video is still going. This camera's been messing up a little bit on me, but anyway. Uh, I've already decided if uh, something goes real bad wrong this year, that this will probably be my last year and uh, that's kind of why I'm more or less going all out I'm going to do whatever I possibly can to expand my business and I went ahead and took the leap on the zero turn even though some of y'all know that for, have watched my video I went into like $9,500 worth of debt last year because of repairs and maintenance which it still blows my mind. I've counted the numbers three times and it still comes up to that. But you gotta think though, you know, I bought, I more or less bought the walk behind. I got the building and I ended up trading eventually for the walk behind. So I more or less bought that. And I bought the DR trim, uh, brush mower, which some of y'all may not know, I did sell it. I paid $700 for that and I sold it for a thousand just recently. So that's, you know, turning some stuff around there. And that thousand dollars I put toward that mower. The John Deere, I got, uh, the guy wanted $7,500 for it. I got a loan for $6,500 and used a thousand off the DR mower to pay for it. But uh, my interest rate is like eight and a half percent. Total interest is only gonna be like $950 or something like that. So, that plus seventy five hundred dollars is about eight fifty, and that's still five hundred some five to six hundred dollars cheaper than what Deer quoted me a brand new one at. And my payments are going to be about two hundred six dollars a month for three years. If everything goes well, I should be able to easily pay that off, doing lawn care and stuff. I hope my ultimate goal this year is to get about 30 clients in this town that I'm wanting to go to, weekly clients, at 40 to 50 bucks a pop. But if my ultimate main goal is to make all the money back that I spent plus pay off the zero turn, if I can end this season back at zero, I'll be happy. Because at the end of the 2019 season, I had finally then broke even and I had hardly any clients the year before, I think the year before actually when I started. But I had any, hardly any clients the year before, not many in 2019. Last year is when I really expanded. I went from like seven grand in a year to almost 12 grand. And I'm hoping to possibly double that this year. And if I can get the weekly clients and keep about 30 down there plus what I'm doing here, that's going to be triple, if not quadruple, my monthly profits. I'm hoping to do that well this year. But time will tell. But that's my 2021 setup. Thank you all for watching. Hope the video worked. And I'll see you all later.